Well, sometimes it's easy to get depressed in the winter, but we have a great way for you to get out of depression, yoga. Yes, Mahela Grant Gerson joins us this morning. Wait, I put this lovely beach oh, in the background nice? to make it look like maybe this is a window looking out into the ocean. Um, but you have some great tips to help us beat the winter blues. Yes. Um, for depression or just feeling down, um, getting your body moving is going to really help. So like sun salutations. So starting off at the front of the mat in Tadasana, you're going to inhale your arms up towards the sky and then fold forward. Inhale, look up, fold yeah, back. Yeah. Exhale, fold. And then stepping back, you can come down into a lunge or down on your knee. Lift your arms up towards the sky and back down to the mat. Pop your foot forward back into Uttanasana. Inhale, look up, flat back, fall back. Inhale, forward. This is awesome the sky. in yeah. suit pants. Bring by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, and so anything getting you moving, mm -hmm. back bends are great. Um, so you can do that over a ball. Like if you have an exercise mm -hmm. ball, you want to like fall over the ball, opening mm -hmm. your chest and your, your heart. Um, what is it about yoga that, that does this to the body that makes you feel better? It actually changes the brain chemistry. Um, there was a study released on that, um, something called GABA. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give you the technical version <laughs> of that, but it actually changes your brain chemistry and you're moving. So it's like, it's like a, an aerobic exercise as mm -hmm. well as like in com combination with meditation um, and, and the spiritual side of it. Um, I think really does wonders for people. Um, the breath, mm -hmm. focusing on the breath is, is huge in yoga. As, mm -hmm. as you know, we always talk about, don't forget to breathe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can show you some, some pranayama, some breathing exercises that are great for... Okay, and you have um, a, something to do with a bumblebee and laughing that we're going to get to yes. a little bit later on. <laughs> What's going to take your breath show. away today is yes. the weather, yes. regardless Absolutely. of if you yoga or not. Here is Tegan now with your forecast. We're trying to beat the winter blues this morning. Um, Haley Grant Gerson joins us. What do you got for us? We're going to learn some breathing exercises called uh, pranayama. Mm -hmm. So you're going to start off with your thumb and ring finger here. Okay. So you're going to inhale through one nostril for four counts. Hold, and then exhale on the opposite nostril. It's called uh, opposite nostril breathing. <laughs> <laughs> what a clever name. I know. It is, it is. <laughs> and so same side. Inhale for four. Hold, and exhale on the opposite side. Why is breathing breathing? Why is breathing so important? <laughs> <laughs> I love teaching this one. <laughs> So, well, it's important because it slows down your breath. Actually, mm -hmm. in, the yogis believe that your life is extended when you hold your breath. Mm. So you're actually extending your life by practicing this. Right. There you go. You want to live till 100? <laughs> practice your pranayama. What else do you have? Okay, so we're going to do the bee breath, the okay. bee humming breath. So you're going to take your thumbs and actually stick them in your ears. <laughs> you got to get a picture of this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now close, put your hands over your eyes and you're just going to hum like a bee. Ooh. How do bees hum? <laughs> and how long do you do that for? As long as you want to, I suppose. <laughs> Until you pass out like the weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that do? Just another breathing exercise, calming, you go within, so it's just... Um, it Something. felt very calming, just the little amount of time that yeah. we did it. It actually um, mimics the sound om in yoga that we say a lot. So it's with, without mouthing it with your, mm -hmm. yeah. And yoga is really good for, um, for depression, for um, seasonal effectiveness disorder. It kind of gets your blood flowing. Yes, definitely. Everything. It gets you moving, um, increases your serotonin levels. So you can do, there's a lot of things you can do in yoga to to get over the blues. Very 